what is up gamers stacks wells back at it again today with another market watch a whole lot of craziness has happened this market is like completely turned upside down and i'm loving it um we've had spoilers we've had a ban list and this market is just going absolutely wild actual buyouts you'll see uh very similar shops uh selling all of these monarch cards um yeah there's been a buyout there's been a few buyouts that are uh now being turned around and uh, made profit on <laughs> think of that as you will um I'm not really here to talk about that. I'm just here to watch the market today. Let's jump straight in. Doomsday is $45 for the cheapest rainbow foil. Cheapest cold foil that's not destroyed. We have a destroyed copy for $75. Cheapest non-destroyed one is basically $90. That's absolutely crazy. If we look just like a week ago on this card, yeah, look, $626, the cheapest cold foil is sold for $50. Kind of crazy. Of course, it's summoning the Blasphemous token. Cheapest Blasphemous Cold Foil token on the market right now is $225. One has it sold for that. The most expensive that it's sold for is $90, but it looks like they've all but disappeared from the market. Uh, good luck finding one for $90. So the real price of that is probably somewhere in the middle. Cheapest Rainbow Foil Blasphemous is $30. Um, this card just kind of went crazy as soon as those spoilers came out. Went from like 10 bucks to 30 bucks kind of just over the weekend yeah again really crazy on these tokens rattle bones is another one that kind of went under the radar with the buyout I, i've never even talked about this card i didn't think it would be targeted for getting dried up um you know i, I it's at 17 dollars, and when i say buyout i don't always mean it's like a malicious thing right i think you know with rattle bones particularly or the rainbow full of blast from it or anything like that i think it's people just want the card and they're buying it and it's no longer available at the previous price point uh the previous price point doesn't exist anymore and now it's at this widely inflated price point not necessarily a bad or a malicious thing it's just kind of how it worked that's the way i use the term buyout i know a lot of people have different definitions for it so when i say buyout don't think i'm talking like you know it's a negative thing like a shady group of people are doing it or anything like that i, I think people just need rattle bones it's a really good card and uh it seems even better in uh vincent then you know it kind of appears at first glance especially after reading everything vincent kind of seems like she struggles a bit with uh go again and being able to play rattle bones as an instant and have go again kind of does mitigate that issue a bit so i see why people are investing into it it makes total sense again cheapest non-foil is 18 dollars. cheapest foil is 19 20 so i guess if you're gonna get it you might as well pick up the foils Husk has been whew, going crazy. It's at 188. Is this all-time high for Husk? I think it might be. I have no idea. 188 for the cheapest rainbow foil. Cheapest cold foil is $250. Kind of crazy there. Uh, again, we see very similar uh, similar shops selling a lot of these cards. Uh, Swarming Gloomvale is at $23 for the cheapest rainbow foil which is just barely higher than the cheapest non-foil. Cheapest non-foil is $21. If you're going to get it, just get the rainbow foil. Oh, Blood Rush Bellow, cheapest rainbow foil is $14. This is, of course, on the back of Levia hype. Everyone's super excited for that, uh, myself included. I mean, turning your hero into that new Levia hero, I think, <laughs> I think no one is impervious to the hype of that or the excitement of it. LSS did such a good job with this set. Everything looks fun. I've not seen a set in any game ever where I want to play every deck that's coming out in the new set. But this one somehow I do. I want to play Prism. I want to play uh, Levia. I want to play uh, Vincent. I want to play all of it. I just can't wait to get my hands on it in paper and start playtesting. Amnesia is another card that's kind of going under the radar a little bit. It's a popper. It blocks for three attacks, or it's a two for six that blocks for three. It's a popper, and of course, it has the text that if it hits cards and tokens, your opponent controls loses names until the end of the next turn, or till the start of your next turn. This is good because uh, the new prism wildly depends or relies on you needing heralds to do things like if a card with herald gets go again or if there's a herald in your soul or if a herald hits do this so amnesia kind of shuts a lot of that down uh so people are specking into it cheapest rainbow foil again is nine dollars cheapest non-foil is about three bucks so still very affordable so if you don't have a playset, it's probably worth picking up at least getting a non-foil playset just to make sure you have the card 
Soul food has slowly but surely been going up. Cheapest non-foil unlimited is like four bucks. Cheapest rainbow foil unlimited is up to like 10. That's kind of crazy <laughs> from where it was. Um, I knew it would go up a bit, but that's a that's a big climb there. Toma Fendall, cheapest rainbow foils on the market are about $40. This one hasn't moved too much. Uh, I think it will, though, in the future with the introduction of the Eloquence tokens. Eloquence tokens give the next non-attack action you play go again. The best card you could give go again to, I think, is Toma Fendall. And particularly the best generic card you could give go again to is Toma Fendall. And I think most people would agree with that. So the rainbow foils from the OG set. Coveted item and uh, still pretty affordable, I think. Art of War, last time we talked about this, we talked about this like, what, a week, two weeks ago? And it was at like $30, $35. Now it's up to $45 for the cheapest non-foil. Cheapest Rainbow hasn't moved at all. It's still at $95. So something to think about. Get your hands on an OG foil playset of Art of Wars. That would be very cool. Um, when the cards actually come out, I think uh, the prices will go up even more. Rouse the Ancients is another under-the-radar guy. I think there's no world Levia doesn't play this card, right? Or maybe not. I mean, she's not randomly discarding like Reinar does. I don't think she's going to be doing that anymore. So it not having six attack isn't like a big deal. And then like being able to pitch, get go again. She doesn't really seem to have easy access to go again. So this could kind of fill that slot. Uh, might not wind up being the case, but I'm definitely going to be testing Rouse the Ages in my Levia. And uh, it's relatively cheap, all things considered. Cheapest rainbow foil on the market is 10 bucks ish I think it's a good price. The Great Library of Solana. Cheapest rainbow foil on the market is 280 Cheapest cold foil on the market is $515. Absolutely insane. I don't think that this card has ever seen super competitive play. I don't imagine it will in the future. But uh, there is always that chance. It's a very cool card, a very flavorful card, a very collectible card. Uh, so it's worth the price point. If you're a newer player, don't be shied away by this kind of thing. You definitely don't need this to play, and you definitely don't need this to be competitive. So, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Heart of Fendall, another card in the very same lane. It is up to $430. It's gotten a slight bump. Um, not 100% sure why. <laughs> I don't know if, you know, none of these decks traditionally play cards like heart right levia prism shadow rune blades nothing normally plays heart i don't know if it's people just gaining interest in the game naturally buying cards like heart of fendal but uh, it has also gone up a bit another caveat i want to add to a lot of this stuff i guess it doesn't really apply to heart of fendal but it applies to like library or maybe I don't know, cards like Husk or Doomsday or Footsteps or something like this. A lot of these prices are just the price because of the hype of the spoilers. They just recently got dried out and bought up. So don't think that... Um, I, I, don't, I don't want you guys to run out and buy the inflated price. Give the market a week, two weeks to adjust. Allow sellers time to list more items. And uh, I think the price of a lot of this stuff will go down. I just kind of want to report to what... It's at now, if that makes sense. If you're looking to buy these cards at the top, just give it a week or two. They're probably not going to go that much higher if they go higher at all. More likely than not, they're all going to drop a bit. Hexagore, the Death Hydra cold foil is $70. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I don't know. I've never been a Hexagore stan, a Hexagore believer. But, um, you know, I've also never been a Levia player. So, you know, maybe people are seeing something in this card that i'm not seeing let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of hexagore am i just like missing something here is this card actually broken i have no idea cheapest cold foil is 70 dollars, so people must be excited about it van brance of determination van brace of determination however you want to pronounce it cheapest rainbow foil on the market is about 25 dollars. i'm sure everyone knows this by now but i'll go over it this card uh just kind of eats prism alive every instance of ward tries to trigger but the van brace prevents the prevention so it destroys all of your opponent's ward basically <laughs> so if they have like three angels and three spectral shields it all goes away for the cost of one resource very good in that matchup i imagine every deck is going to be citing van brace moving forward for the prism matchup but um yeah this price tag is very cheap 25 dollars kind of crazy everything from outsiders has just gone so far down in the hype of this new set so 
if you're looking for anything from outsiders, now is definitely the time. But particularly for Van Brace, because I think this one will go up soon when people start realizing that Prism Tech. Flick Knives and other outsiders is just criminally cheap, like $28 for a Flick Knives. If you're watching this video right now, next time Flick Knives spikes, because obviously it will at some point again in the future, you have no one to blame but yourself. This is so cheap. Everyone should have it. The art is sick. It's a good card in Assassin. One day it'll probably be a good card in Ninja. I mean, it's just, it's going to go back up. We all know it. It's just a matter of time, right? Invoke Sarai is actually kind of uh, a speculative, speculative investment, a speculative buy that people made a long time ago, and I don't think it quite panned out. It just doesn't fit into the new Prism's game plan that well. She could still wind up playing it. I don't think i'm gonna immediately put it in my list uh but let me know what you guys think is sarai something you're gonna be testing with if it is 25 dollars for the cheapest rainbow foil i think this is the cheapest it's been in quite some time cheapest cold foil is 80 dollars again cheapest has been in quite some time worth a pickup if you're still uh considering this card or looking at it scabskin leathers has also gone crazy there's one on the market for 51 dollars. i hope one of my uh subscribers grabs that but the next cheapest verified seller $75 for the cheapest scab skin so crazy but when you print that new levia card what do you expect the people to do They're, we're, we're hype we're ready for it plague hive another outsiders just whew, this is the low we buy right here plague hives $100 for the cheapest rainbow that's so crazy isn't it cheapest cold foil 285 not bad not bad plague hive I've, I've always liked the card i've always thought it was cool flavorful good card so for a hundred dollars i think it's probably worth it phantasmal footsteps cheapest rainbow full on the market is 180 dollars um cheapest cold foil on the market let's take a look here is 316 dollars wow that's so crazy um, I mean, it makes sense. People are also hyped for the new prism. The figment, the art on the figments is so sick. Like summoning angels and the figments and flipping them, it all just seems broken and good. I, I think she's going to be speedrunning LL format. People are picking up some footsteps and just kind of getting ready for that, I think. Spellbound Creepers, we haven't talked about this card in a long time. Cheapest rainbow foil on the market is 160. Cheapest cold foil on the market is 190. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, it makes sense. It's tails. There's not too much of a difference between them. If you are going to pick it up, though, I highly recommend picking up the cold foil. Black Tech Whispers is on super sale. Cheapest rainbow foil on the market is $56. Cheapest cold foil on the market is $115. Uh, this is all-time low for Black Tech by a lot. Definitely worth a pickup if you have any interest in Assassin. Levia, the adult Levia cold foil is $200. <laughs> totally crazy uh it was just 150 yesterday let's see how many sold just in the last couple days uh only four sold or oh, five sold not too bad but they were all 150 dollars plus which is pretty impressive rampart of the ram's head is 37 dollars oh man that hurts that hurts oh cheapest cold full is 60 dollars i mean for this cheap i'm i'm just gonna hold on to it like I don't know how long it's going to be till Rampart is good again, but I'm not getting rid of my Rampart for $34. Like, that's just not happening. I might as well hold on to it for a while. It's only a matter of time until they print another Guardian, uh, particularly with Oldham LLing. Um, I'm sure the pressure is kind of on them now to get another playable Guardian out there that's not Bravo. Ghostly Touch, another under-the-radar card. Uh... I don't know, people might just be forgetting that this card is going to be played in Prism because the old Prism didn't play it because Ghostly Touch wasn't out when the old Prism was out. So people might not just be putting all these puzzle pieces together quite yet. Uh, this new Prism is also kind of susceptible to Phantasm, unlike the old Prism. The old Prism, it was like no big deal. If your stuff all got popped, you would just kill them with auras. But this new Prism doesn't really seem super, super focused on auras. So I think Ghostly Touch will probably certainly make a comeback uh cheapest cold foil is 60 dollars cheapest rainbow foil is 23 if you have any interest in prism and you don't have this i would definitely pick it up now courage of blade hold cheapest non-foil is 24 dollars cheapest rainbow foil is 83 dollars for the cheapest rainbow foil unlimited sheesh hey people are excited for bolton i can't even blame them or maybe they're excited for dory i don't know this is pretty good in both but uh that's insane <laughs> 
<laughs> that is ins absolutely insane. I don't think we've ever seen this that ex anywhere near that. So, uh, yeah. Welcome to the new world of Carriage of Bladehold. Uh, cheapest Levia Rainbow Foil Adult Hero on the market is $11. I still think this is quite affordable. Uh, it does go up pretty quickly, though, so if you have any interest in it, probably worth picking it up sooner rather than later. Quickly jumps up to like 20 bucks. Uh, Shadow Puppetry is about $9 for the cheapest copy on the market. Hey, that's my LGS, actually. About $9 for the cheapest copy on the market here. Uh, it makes sense. I think both of these new Shadow Heroes kind of have a lot of issues with Go Again. Both Vincent and Levia, they don't have a ton of Go Again built into their kits. They don't have immediate access to Soul Shackles or Go Again cards from the Banish Zone or anything like that. Uh, so Shadow Puppetry kind of does fill that. It's, it's a role player. Like It fills that void of what they need, so it makes sense that it's going up like this uh cheap is rainbow foil is twenty dollars that's kind of insane <laughs> but uh it is a good card cheapest rainbow foil bolton on the market is seven dollars i think that's pretty good bolton got a lot of new support i could see him being uh probably like a tier two you know not something you are excited to sit across anymore he's definitely going to be a contender i imagine i hope so i like bolton so hope people could kind of figure him out uh pretty cheap rainbow foil probably worth a pickup Bloodsheath Skeletta, they did a ban and suspended announcement today, LSS did, and they moved Bloodsheath Skeletta. They went out of their way to move Bloodsheath Skeletta from suspended to banned, which functionally just like is a slap in the face to everyone who thought that this card might ever get off the ban list, because why would you move it from suspended to banned? That just like confirms like this is never coming off the list. Stop speculating about it, you know? <laughs> uh, cheapest non foils $2.00. Cheapest Rainbow Foil is 11 and let's look at the Cold Foil, just, just for fun. Cheapest Cold Foil on the market is about $400. I still think it's a super cool card, collectible card. It'll be good in LL format and all of this, uh, but if you're holding on to it with your fingers crossed, hoping that this will come off the list anytime soon, I would get rid of it. I wouldn't plan on it, and I wouldn't hope for that. Uh, it just doesn't quite seem like it's coming. Uh, last pickup I have for you is actually the best one, the best investment on this whole video. It's the Stackswell Patreon. For just $5 a month, you get early access to my videos and, um, you know, support the channel. That's the biggest part is to be able to support this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and help the algorithm help me out. Thank you, gamers.